Hi everyone and welcome back to my Model Railway channel. Now in this video we are going to be building a control panel for the double O gauge model railway. So let's get on with it. So let's take a quick look at what it is we're going to be building and what items we're going to be using to make it. So first of all, we've got a bundle of wire here because we're going to be needing the wire. Um, we've got the wires and the plugs for from the control panel. So these will come out of the back of the control panel and plug into the front of the railway. You're going to need to use a drill and drill piece. Lovely pair of wire strippers. Some snippers, just to get into the smaller areas. Soldering iron and solder. And then, specially ordered from my shed, state-of-the-art control panel front. As you can see, lots of expense went into this. A bill of plywood and a permanent marker. Now, I've mapped out the layout and I've numbered all the points as they should be. And then these dots along the bottom here, that's where I'm going to be putting the switches, again with the numbers underneath. And then we're going to put little lights on all of these so we can see which line is lit up when we've flicked all the switches. Most importantly, these are the switches we're using, the Cobalt ones. Uh, we have gone for red and green. I've got two sets of these because I've got 11 switches and these come in packs of six. So I have two sets of these. And I also have the power supply for it. So let's get on with the build. So as we mentioned before, the state of the art control panel front face. We're gonna get our drill and we're gonna drill all the holes where we want them. I'm gonna start off by doing the lights. And now I'm gonna drill all the switch holes. Now the control panel holes are all drilled out, ready to go. So let's take a look at these switches. As I said before, each pack comes in a pack of six. You also get 12 lights, red and green. You can get just 12 green or just 12 reds, but I got obviously different colors. And then you get six switches. And we get a little jiffy bag for all the washers and bolts. Each of these will go through the hole like so, all the way along. And then the bottom half, we have got all together eight holes. Now these three, plus negative and common, are the power. And that's gonna come from here, black, blue, and red will run through and we will daisy chain all 11 switches along the back here all together then whichever switch number it is we'll run out of these bottom two here and directly to the switches and then what's nice about these as well is all of the lights get connected to here and then they will go in here here so when you flick it it will indicate which line is live well that's the idea anyway so hopefully you can see here what I mean by daisy chaining now the power will come through here and go to the first switch which will then go through to the next switch and then the next one next one next one along and there's the three wires and there is the under. Now it's a bit fiddly because it's quite small soldering and everything, but with a bit of patience, I'll get it all done and we'll look at the switches once they're done. Because I want to move the camera out of the way because it's a nightmare to try and film under this camera and solder. So, be back for you in a There we have it, all 11 switches attached to the control panel. Now on the flip side, I've already started attaching 
the sockets that we've already done in the previous video underneath the board. Um, so these are now attached to the correct switches as indicated on the wires that I checked earlier on. So we're going to continue with the last lock and then we'll move on to putting the lights in. Switchboard is all ready and the switches all work. Yay me. Right now we're going to have to put in all the LED lights. So what I've got to do, I've wired it all up, turned it all on and whichever direction the points are in at the present moment, I will put the first light. The lights come from the packet. So I'm going to start with switch number 11 and that would be this one here. So first of all, I'm going to plug this light in to find out just here if it is on or off. So these can get a bit fiddly because of the way that they're set up and already attached to the board. So now that we're set up, you can see here that there's a green and red, although on the screen it's probably coming up a bit orange. It is red. It's telling me the green line is open. So if I flip the switch again, number 11, it now means the track going to the station is now open. I'm happy with that. So I've got to do the rest of the board and we'll come back to you in a moment. So now we have it. The control panel is all fixed and attached to the baseboard. It's not perfect, but it'll do for me. It works. It tells me where the trains are going to go. Green lines tell me what lines are live. Red lines tell me not to send trains down. Flip the switch. Change. Fantastic. I want to thank everyone for joining me on this mini build. We are making tracks, so to say. Um, we're going to have some trains running very, very soon and moving on to scenics as well. We've got to get some ballasting done and all that uh, stuff. So I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Thanks for now and see you next time.